So Microsoft decided that they wanted to end the Skype and now is retiring this product by May 2025. They are proposing to move into Teams and also they plan to transfer all the chat history and all of the things in your account into Teams. But the thing is that many of us don't like Teams, don't see it Teams as a product that we would like to use. Basically because we were using Skype only to have a phone number in different countries, to receive messages, to make calls, to receive calls, and all of that. So Teams is, as I see, is an overkill, so it doesn't make sense for many of us to go into Teams. And it's sad, actually sad that Skype is retiring. It has been a, a product that I liked, and I, I paid for a service to get a phone number and also a line in the U.S., So if you are in the same case as me, I wanted to put together how I was able to port uh, the Skype number into Twilio. It, it isn't uh, such a, bit, a difficult thing. It's something that uh, you only need to open a Twilio account and, and, and make the request. But I want to, to share my experience with you in case you are in the same case. So uh, why I decided Twilio is because these guys uh, offer a simple product that is basically how you can use a phone number, a line or SMS into the web. They build APIs and they have products to make this process simple. So it was a no brainer for me. It was directly go into Twilio and make the request. So for that, Uh, you will need to open an account and follow some steps. Um, disclaimer, there is not an affiliate, affiliate link. There is not any type of affiliation between me and Twilio. I only like the product and I only want to, to shed some light into how is the process. So once you have your account with Twilio, you will need to go into the left part of, the, of your account and the phone numbers, then go into port and host and click on port and number. So for this, you will need to accept all the conditions that Twilio is putting for uh, the usage of their service. So you will pay the standard rates that are really, really low, really, if uh, you don't have a basic, uh, a basic budget, like a basic fee that you will need to pay. It's only pay as you go. That's uh, also one of the things that I like about this, this product. So you, also you will have to accept that you will keep your numbers in service with the current carrier until the transfer, uh, uh, the port completes e, and that you will configure that your Twilio's number. You will be responsible for termination and change in post. Um, maybe this is actually what happened to me. Two days, you won't be able to receive messages. So it's uh, the process between moving from Skype into um, Twilio that you have problems with SMS. For boys, it's quickly. Um, so once you finish the getting started part, you will have to make um, the, the form, fill the form with your information. In this case, you can put a, a pull request name. This is only for reference. You can put my request or anything that you would like. My request is... Uh, Um, a Skype number, for example. And then you will need to put here if you will use it for residential and business. And in my case, uh, I, it was for a business. So let's put here uh, the, the name of the company. It will be like Faye Company LLC. And here you will have to put uh, the address. So let's say it's fake address, Avenue, uh, one, two, three, I don't know. Then all of these should match with what you have in Skype. And I will show you that later, how you can get that data. So here you can put Miami, uh, I mean the, the address, you complete the address and you can put here. Here you will need to put a number. Let's see, this is only a fake number that I am putting here. And in case you will want to Uh, transfer wireless number, you can put it here, but in the case of Skype, I put as a landline. So I leave it there. Here will be my Skype number. In case you have some, you can put with commas. Um, probably the most important thing, maybe the thing that causes the most friction uh, is to have the documents. 
So you need to have a letter of authorization and you have to have a bill statement. So when you finish filling the numbers that you would like to be ported from Skype into Twilio, uh, you will need to attach uh, some documents. And probably this is like the most tricky part, but uh, what worked for me, it was not so, so difficult. So the first thing to do is to go into the purchase, purchase history into your profile. So you simply need to access your account in Skype and then go into purchase history. Then go to the last month in which you, you pay for the service and download your monthly statement. Once you have that, you can attach that. And also to assure that you own the number, you can also attach your Skype number settings uh, in which you, you have that also in your profile. You only click on Skype number and you can see your, your, your phone number. I talk with, um, with uh, Skype about this, if they can provide further information. And they told me that no, at the moment they cannot help you with anything. But fortunately, I was able to transfer uh, the phone number only attaching this in a zip into, into this, into billing statement. Now for the letter of authorization, then you can click here in what's this and then in letter of authorization form. And then you need to fill out all the information. It's the same, is the business name, the address, the city, what's the phone number and also the service provider in this case will be Skype. Then you will need to sign uh, for your name and date and that's it. You make a request, uh, this open a request in Twilio, then you will have uh, the, the possibility to follow up with the process here in the, in the left in the porting request and then you will be able to see if it is completed or, or not. For me, it took like two days and I was able to receive and make calls. For the SMS, I have to wait for two days more, but later uh, I was able to, to send SMS and everything. And the good thing is that the Twilio pricing is not the same as uh, Skype, so there is not a base fee that you need to pay. You only pay what you consume. Now, once your number is ported into Twilio, uh, you will need to have an interface to make calls, to receive calls. And for that, you would like to download this application that is also uh, powered by Twilio, in which you will connect the, your phone number into, into the application. The good thing is that you will be able to receive SMS and calls into your phone. It's compatible with Android and also with iOS. And here only you will need to fill out some Twilio data. So you will need the name, the SID, and the authorization token. So where do you find that information? It's in your in your account. You go to your, your account and then you put in, in the application. Uh, this is not free. Um, this costs like $5 to, to make and receive calls but that's the only thing that you will need to pay. That is cheaper than what I used to pay for Skype, in which I have to purchase the number and also to purchase a plan to receive and make calls. So in any way, this is easier. Unfortunately, this doesn't work in, in your computer, only works on your own iPhone. If you would like to use something in your computer, you can develop an application, but that's outside of the scope of the video. But for a quick fix, you only need to, to put your number and then you can configure your number into the application that is automatic. You don't have to do anything, only put the values about your uh, Twilio ID and the authorization token and then uh, subscribe to a plan and then you will have to, you will have the possibility to make and receive calls. Uh, again, I am not sponsored, sponsored by Twilio or anything. I just want to share my experience because I see many people having uh, numbers in the US or in Europe. Uh, given that Skype is terminating all of these numbers, probably they will have issues. And also many that, like me, don't want to use Teams because it's an overkill only to make a receive calls or SMS uh, for a phone number. In case you have any questions, please let me know. I will be happy to, to
to answer as many as I, I can. Um, thank you.